Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Listen, sometimes a one and done solution for prep and prep type items, a go bag, sometimes that's what you're looking for. Whether that's a bug out bag, a go bag, maybe a get home bag, we're oftentimes trying to find that solution that's already pre-made that we could just grab, throw in the cart, get it sent to the house, and we're ready to rock and roll. Maybe you're trying to find a kit for a loved one. Maybe you're trying to get yourself the basic ABCs into that prep life. In this video, we're gonna take a look at some of the best known two-person survival kits. They purport to be a 72-hour kit and determine which one might be the best one for you. So we have with us today the 72 by Uncharted Supply Company. We also have the Prepster by Preppy Company. And we have the Companion by Rhino Ready. Now, I've had each of these kits for six months. I've had to deploy some of them. I've already come up with an opinion of each of them. So I think I'll be able to give you an opinion which one might be best for you. But first, if you're the man cave enthusiast, if you're the type of person that likes to do prep and survival and tools, hit that subscribe button below. We would love to have you a part of the battalion. Also, if you wanna join the battalion in more of an official capacity, we now have channel memberships. That's gonna get you access to my Discord server, get you some live streams. You can have a pour with me and also some other exclusive content. So check that out if you're interested in that as well. So let's jump into each of these and kind of take a look at how they're intended to be used. First, we'll start with the 72 by Uncharted Supply. Now, the 72 is a 30 liter capacity bag. Um, it, it's 16 pounds in, in total. It does have a removable insert on the inside. The outside of the bag is completely waterproof as long as you properly actually close this bad boy up, right? You close it up properly, it is damn near waterproof because it's basically made like a tarp. So it does have large labeled section. It has a removable insert, taking that out here. And it does give you some tips right here on the outside of the actual bag itself. It gives you different tips on, you know, how to get food and how to procure water. And you can actually take this insert out and use it as a backpack as well. So this really is designed to be one of those kind of go bags, emergency kits that you keep in your vehicle. You grab it when you need it and you kind of you're ready to rock and roll. So that is the first one. The next one we have is the Companion by Rhino Ready. So the Companion by Rhino Ready, the bag itself is water resistant. Um, I haven't really tested to see if it's waterproof. Both have pockets in the front. This has extra straps just in case you want to strap down you know a, a a tent or something on the outside does have some molly webbing here this has a full clamshell opening and it has a water pouch on the outside similar to the uncharted supply the back has padding here just in case you're going to be rucking or moving with this thing has the shoulder straps has a waistband has lots of loops just in case you want to attach different items to you while you're rucking or anything like that so similar to the Uncharted Supply, lots of attachment options. You know, this one has a full opening feature. However, it kind of opens up more like a, a suitcase, large label compartments. You can remove each of these compartments because they are hook and loop. So you can rip any of these out, use them as you see fit. This empty portion here is where that actual water container goes big well labeled sections as well so you can take these out use them as you see fit and so similar to the uncharted supply only difference with this is you cannot remove um you know this as like a, an inner layer if you want to take something out you take it out one by one rhino ready bag has a 25 liter capacity it weighs 19 pounds fully kitted out and you know, this thing also comes in white or you can get it in like this black and orange colorway, which they call high vis, which stands for high visibility. The uncharted supply, you can get it in orange, black, red, or you can get it in this olive green, obviously the color that I have here. 
Next, we have the Prepster by Preppy. This is, out of all three bags, the only one that is made in America is actually made in Los Angeles. This is a canvas type bag. It has water resistance. Eventually, it will soak through. It's more of a duffel style, like a weekender style bag. You know, so it does have like little, uh, you know, metal little feet on the bottom to try to keep it out of any wet surfaces or anything like that. Monogram on the front, leather straps and handles and a le leather closure. Kind of has, it kind of gives me like that doctor feel, that medical doctor feel, the way you open this thing up. And once you're inside of this thing, it's kind of just one big compartment of chaos, but you know, it does have everything that you would need in, in theory. Now for all of these bags, I'm not going to do an extensive review of each bag. I've actually already reviewed these bags. I'll link it down below if you wanna see more of an extensive review of any of these bags. Before we jump into any of those standards, if you like this video, make sure you like, hit that like button down below. It lets you two know they should be sharing this with other folks. And definitely, definitely leave a comment. Let me know which one so far looks the most interesting, at least for aesthetics wise, before we jump into the next category. So we're gonna look in these in the category of food and water, ruckability, or how, how you're able to move with these kits. First aid, tools and communication, comfort, and expandability. And of course, we'll take a look at price as well. So first up is the food and water category. All right, so you can kind of see the actual food and water options that come with each kit. For the Rhino Ready kit, you actually get some of the Daytrex emergency food rations. It's kind of just all kind of thrown in here. And you also get a bunch of these emergency drinking supply. And they also provide you with a water filtration system. Okay, so when you're eventually done with the water that they provided you, they give you the water filtration system. You can use the included canteen that they give you. You can go gather water and you can filter more water. So that way when you're done, you have more ways to continue to use it. The Preppy, the Prepster includes simply emergency water in the Daytrex bars. That's it, no water filtration system. And the Uncharted Supply includes the Daytrex as well, and they give you a water filtration kit. However, the Uncharted Supply does not give you any emergency water. So the reliance on water is going to be immediately on you to ensure that you're able to gather that stuff up. I will say this, that the for the Ditrex food supplies, the Prepster seems to give you the largest of the three. They give you the larger Ditrex food supply. So this is a two person kit, but they're giving you the larger rations, which is still for two people only. So the Uncharted Supply gives you two of these as well, but they're the smaller kit. Also the Prepster, actually gives you some astronaut ice cream, which might be something in you're interested in, and they give you some included chocolate, which my kids have already eaten. So, you know, for the uniqueness, if you're gonna be kind of hanging out at the house, your food supply is gonna be pretty okay. The Prepster kit is not that bad, but if I'm in a survival situation and I'm in a field environment, I kinda gotta give it to the companion. They give you the dye tracks, they give you the emergency water, and they give you a water filtration kit and the ability to gather more water. So kind of got to give that to the companion. All right, so for the next category, we're going to talk about how much you're, you're able to move each bag or ruckability. First, let's start with the Uncharted Supply. So this includes some breathable shoulder straps here that you can able to, you know, you're able to get this on. It does have some padding and it also has this air mesh, which allows for a little bit of sweat relief off your back. You know, it includes the included waist straps. So you can cinch this in as you see fit. And the waist straps have a little bit of extra storage in them, which might be good for being able to keep, uh, keep items that you wanna have quick access to. I'm not going to judge the ruckability of the insert because it's not very comfortable at all. The insert really is just for if you need to grab the insert maybe run down the trail or something like that. That would be the purposes of that. 
And I see the concept of having an insert separate from the actual main bag, but it seems more gimmicky to me than anything else. Similar to the Uncharted Supply, the Rhino Ready does have that mesh, air mesh down the back, so it gives you breathe breathability for your back. It does have padding on the shoulder straps a little bit more than the Uncharted Supply. And it includes as well the actual waist strap, so you can cinch that down with a little bit of molly webbing instead of a pocket. It has molly webbing up and down the actual straps themselves, so you can actually attach a lot of different items. And then finally, we have the Prepster, which is not ruckable at all. If you do come down to the situation where you need to move with this bag, you're going to be relegated to carrying it. You can't even add any straps to the side. So if, you know, if you're interested in having that mobility, this is not going to be the one for you. If you ask my preference which one I would get for ruckability, hands down, that will be the Rhino Ready. This by far is the most comfortable when wearing it. I have rucked over 30 miles with individually with both the Rhino Ready Companion and the Uncharted Supply 72. This is way more comfortable. These straps allow for you to have so much padding when you're wearing this thing. It doesn't interfere with my neck when I'm a few miles into a ruck. And also, I don't even feel the need to use the waist strap with this thing. Even though this is the heaviest one of the three, this feels really good because I can get it really high up on my shoulders. The Uncharted Supply doesn't give me too many options on attaching more items when I'm actually rucking. You know, I am able to hook a water bottle or something to it, but it gets uncomfortable really fast. This is really, really thin. And these are adjustable, so the actual chest cinch can be adjusted, but you don't have too many options other than what they give you here. Whereas the Rhino Ready, you can detach this, you can move it to wherever you see fit. So next we move on to the first aid kit. Um, I have each of the first aid kits here. So let's, let's start off with the Uncharted Supply. Mine's been through quite a few things, but the Uncharted Supply includes a nice compact kit here that you can use. And it is well labeled, right? So it, it labels clearly the CPR kit and gloves and, clean, and skin cleaning wipes and pressure wounds and all that good stuff. Just anything that you can quickly see. And you can also expand this kit with personal items in the very back of it. Very compact, easy to grab. It includes uh, molly straps on the back. They are built in. They don't have the best stitching in the world, but if you wanna attach this, to another kit you can. You can't really attach this to the bag because the bag doesn't really have like true Molly components. The Prepster's first aid kit is more of an OEM type of kit. They sell, I've seen this sold in, uh, in other kits. I've also seen this in like, I think at REI and different stuff like that. But it is a pretty good kit. Um, I won't lie, it's not, it's not horrible. It is hard to see what's in the kit. So in order to know what you have, you kind of got to bust it open. And so you're not, you really need to go through this to see if you have everything that you would even want before you start an emergency situation. And then finally we have the Rhino Ready kit. So it is the largest of the three kits and it does have nice straps that hold down each item. It has expandability here at the very bottom. The middle does have well labeled um, items that you can see. And then the very top is not very well labeled, but you can easily open this up. And you can get in there, you can see all the gauze and bandages and tape and splints and all the other stuff right here at the top. I will say out of all three of these kits, the Uncharted Supply probably has some of the most unique items in it. It has saline, it has a CPR, uh, a CPR kit. You know, it does have tweezers and just different things that you might want. All three of these kits include N95 masks, so, you know, I didn't even want to pull those out. They're all about the same with that. The only difference being that the Uncharted Supply Kit has some more of the respirator type where you have the carbon filter on the inside where you can replace that. So for me personally, I like the Rhino Ready's kit a little bit more because it seems really easy to get to what I need. This kit is highly expandable with the entire bottom part being nearly empty. It has way more gauze. And it just seems to have more of uh, items I would use on in the trail or in the field with a cold compress um, versus either one of these other kits. And I can easily add tons more stuff, combat guys, tourniquets, 
all that type of stuff here. All right, so next we bring ourselves to tools and communication. All three kits include a multi-tool, all three clip kits include a radio, although you know they're not the most high quality radios, but they all do include the radio. So you can just have, you know, you're, you know you're gonna have the radios with the flashlights on the side, the uncharted supply, and I'm out, honestly, they all they feel like, you know, imported radios. I will say the Uncharted Supply does feel the cheapest, and which seems weird. And, you know, the Preppy does feel like it is the most just biggest and robust and easiest to use. So none of these kits really have a great selection of comms. This is about it when it comes to comms. You can try to signal by using duct tape and tarps and all the other type of stuff, but actually reaching the outside world it doesn't really exist with any of these kits. It's just gonna be you receiving information. For the most portable of all these kits is the Rhino Ready. So for the actual Uncharted Supply, you have to actually drag this entire um, insert with you if you wanna use a specific tool or something like that. Whereas the Rhino Ready, you can just pull it out and also here, it does have the fire starter, multi-tools, notebook, zip ties, knife. Like there's a lot of stuff in the Rhino Ready kit. And it does include a knife and all that good stuff. It does feel the most survival type of knives. It includes a compass, unlike the other kits. They all include some form of flashlight with the Uncharted Supply and the Rhino Ready, both including a headlamp. And the Uncharted Supply is the only one of all of them which include a shovel. They all include paracord, you know, and duct tape, stuff like that. So if I have to give the edge to any of these, it would probably be really, really close to the Uncharted Supply and the Rhino Ready, probably giving the slight edge to the Rhino Ready because they are giving you more stuff. They're giving you zip ties. They give you a full compass. Um, I do like the fact that Uncharted Supply gives you the shovel, although it's probably not the most robust shovel ever. It does feel like, you know, it would be pretty easy to break. But so I would kind of give these a tie. The Prepster, the tools are really lacking. This multi-tool is not very good. It's, it's kind of hard to deploy. You also do get some paracord in that kit, but tool wise, you're not gonna get anything. And the Prepster does not give you any type of knife other than the knife that's included in the multi-tool. All right, so moving on to the comfort type section. So the comfort section is a little bit unique. I wanted to pull out a few items that each offer to you. So both the 70, uh, both of the companion and the 72 include fire starters. The 72 does include a actual striker and a ferro rod with their fire starters. Whereas the companion just gives you the actual ferro rod and you have to use the included knife to strike a fire, but it does seem to work well. But if you want a redundancy, then it is nice to have a striker and a knife with this kit. They all include tents of some type. So the companion's tent is green. The uh, preppy's tent is orange. So for more high visibility. And then you have the survival tent with uncharted supply is black. They all include gloves. They all include hand warmers that you can use. You know, the Prepster does have more quote unquote comfort items where they do give you some really high end shampoo and body wash and conditioner. Like that stuff might be important to you. They give you toothpaste. Also included in their kit is some tea. If, if, if that's something that you're into, they give you some playing cards. So you have something to do. Uncharted Supply does give you a beanie, although it is a complete trash beanie has their logo over it. Uncharted Supply, one thing is they have their logo everywhere. Ryan already has their logo everywhere. The Prepster probably is the most muted logo wise because once you get into the packaging, they're just more generic OEM type of items. Um, whereas both the 72 and the Ryan already has their labels everywhere. Now, at, when it comes to the gloves, hands down the best gloves have to go to Ryan already. The dexterity still seems to be there when you're wearing their gloves. They're very comfortable. These gloves keep your hands pretty warm, but you always feel like you need to take them off if you have anything that you need to do. These gloves are pretty trash 
other than the fact that they do seem that they do have this grip on them that give you a little bit of grip and they do seem like it would be harder to slice through them but they don't give you a knife so you, you don't have to worry about that anyhow that you do have some emergency ponchos and, and stuff like that the rhino ready has more of a true rain style a, a rain coat rather um, which actually feels nice they all have blankets so i mean there's kind of like pros and cons with each of this when it comes to a total comprehensive kit I do like the fact that that Uncharted Supply gives you a beanie. You, they give you, you can throw two of them on, multiple, try to keep warm. They do give you more of these warmers if that's your cup of tea and their gloves are warmer. So for comfort wise, I kind of got to give it to the Uncharted Supply. Now, if it comes to actually like building a shelter out and stuff like that, then I will probably give it to the Rhino Ready just because they give you more cordage. So all the... Uncharted Supply gives you is the 550 cord. They give you even more cordage in here to actually deploy the tent. You don't have to use your 550 cord and stuff like that. If you're staying at the house and you're just gonna be deploying a kit, you may consider the Prepster to be the most comfortable. And I actually have used this kit um, you know, with my family. This is my second bag with them. And it was actually kind of nice to have the playing cards to have the chocolate astronaut ice cream. Those small type of things are actually pretty nice. All right, so next we go to expandability and I wanna go each of these one by one just to show you. So both the 72 and the companion have labeled sections. Let's look at the companion first. Very compartmentalized sections. Each of these are hook and loop so you can come in here. And although these are all pretty packed, you know, you can replace items, exchange items, so forth and so on. And because there's an actual pouch on the outside for the water bottle, you no longer need to keep that on the inside. So if you want to put something here, you now have some real estate for that. So if you want to put maybe some your own beanie, your own glove, socks, something like that, you can add that here. There's a lot of room left in here where they keep the goggles you can add. So there's a lot of expandability here when it comes to the actual Rhino Ready. 72 is a, it, it, it is expandable, but it is much more of a headache. As you can see, the 72, first of all, none of these compartments are expandable. All this stuff moves around very easily. Like, uh, you know, they do include some cables um, for like charging of your items. This is where the water bottle goes initially when you get the kit. So if you wanna add some stuff here, I guess you could. But this stuff feels pretty packed. Like, you know, you can probably squeeze something in here with the food, but everything else feels pretty packed already. This doesn't feel very expandable. Now, if you wanna replace some stuff, it does feel like you could easily replace some items with this kit, but actually expanding it doesn't feel very feasible. Um, and it's also really hard to pack this kit up. So say for instance, you wanna take this kit with you camping, you wanna deploy it, take it hiking, just to see how it would feel to ruck with this thing. This kit is the biggest headache to deploy and redeploy. It is extremely, it's just a headache. Like you gotta cinch all these down. So five of these cinches, you gotta go through each one, make sure everything where it belongs, then, you gotta line up the pack itself, kinda hope that you're able to get it in here. And then once you have it all in here, then you're able to cinch it down and you have it all together, but it is a headache. The Prepster is a chaotic mess, but it can easily be expanded upon. So getting inside the Prepster itself, it is a lot of stuff going on in here, but if you were to take everything out, kind of systematically go through everything, decide what you want to keep and not keep, you could definitely expand upon this, get rid of some stuff, keep some stuff, add your own socks, maybe some, you know, whistles, all that type of stuff in here. So for like expandability purposes, if you're just going to be using these kits at the house and not going anywhere, then the Prepster hands down is probably the one you can expand the easiest. For actually using these in like a wilderness survive, uh, environment or something similar, then the easiest one to expand upon is going to be the Companion, just because it does seem to have a lot of extra real estate. So let's talk price. 
So the companion comes in at $399. That's gonna get you the bag, um, whether it be all black, like I have here, you can get the black and orange, which is more high visibility. The entire kit, uh, 399 bucks. The Prepster comes in at $495. It's gonna get you the bag, the kit, and this bag is probably the easiest one to like resupply. So if you have like emergencies at home, you can just continuously resupply this kit. The 72 comes in ranging between $525 and $589, depends on where you get it from. Uh, it's usually cheaper on Amazon than on their website. So which one's gonna be right for you? I mean, that's gonna be up to you. That's gonna be up to you to decide. Um, I, if you ask me which one I would keep, then I'm going to have to keep it real with you. For comfort, how much I can just personalize it to the things that I need, it has to be the Rhino Ready. Coming in at 400 bucks, you probably can put a, a kit together that's cheaper, um, get a nice 511 bag or uh, LA Police gear bag or something like that, Maxpedition, and put together your own bag. But if you're just trying to find a one and done kit and have the option to just buy something, throw it in your vehicle, have all these removable inserts on the inside. You have all this extra storage on the outside. This has to be the kit that I would go with if I was if I was gonna be making a decision all over again. For something I'm just gonna keep at the house, this kit gets laughed at and it's, I think the price is too high, but this concept is nice. So, you know, if someone were to gift this to you, it'd be, it'd be something you definitely wanna keep, maybe supplement with. Um, you know, I've tested out their fireproof bag and that was really laughable, but this bag itself actually kind of gets the job done. I use a bag similar to this for the recent winter storm we had here in Texas. This thing got the job done. My daughter was able to go in and retrieve anything I asked her to get. My wife felt comfortable going into this bag, getting the stuff that we needed. And of course, I have tons of knives and multi-tools, so the things in here that sucked, I can just come out to my man cave and grab what I needed. The one that I would not do all over again probably would be the Uncharted Supply. This kit feels like the marketing for it has made it so popular that the price just seems to continue to climb. I feel like you can put something together that's in this ballpark with the mediocre items that they're using, probably in the $200 range. The only thing that I like about this kit, hands down, is this bag is 100% waterproof. You can use this to help you cross a large body of water, but I don't see myself crossing the Red River anytime soon. So this would not be a kit that I would keep and I'm gonna be giving this bag away. So what do you think? Comment down below, let me know which one of these you would use. Would you use one, would you use two, which, would you use a whole different brand that I'd even talk about? Comment down below, I would love to see what you think. Listen, if this is your first time here, please, come on. I would love for you to join a battalion, make you a boot. Come on, see what it's all about and join the team over here. And absolutely check out the memberships down below, give you some more exclusive features for everyone else. We'll speak soon.